Hi, this is Katherine Howland at Legacy Christian Academy in Norton. Today we are prepping for our annual science fair, which is going to be tomorrow. Uh, we have our upper school students um, in this room with their display boards, and we have some of our fourth and fifth graders um, in across the hall. Uh, what each student does for the science fair is they choose a topic that they would like to research. Uh, they ask a question about that topic, then they form a hypothesis and conduct their own experiment. And uh, throughout this process, they are researching the topic and they write the research paper, they conduct the experiment, and then create a display board, which is what you will see here today. Um, and again, we do this every year and it's a great way for the kids to learn a lot of different skills. And I hope you have fun checking out their projects. Hello, my name is Tobias. Uh, my project was on, it's called Clean versus Green. I basically tested six different laundry detergents, which were two clean, two natural, and two high-end brands. And basically what I did is I tested each one with a third cup of detergent each on a rag that I soaked with um, a couple of uh, nasty things that we would get on our clothes, maybe at a spaghetti dinner or something like that, and kind of just figured out which one was the most effective, which one uh, cleaned the most, and so on. Hi, my name is Caitlin Zarello, and my project is How Do Fears Change with age. So in my project I tested three age groups to kids, teens, and adults to see how their fears change from their childhood to the adults and do their fears become more realistic from when they are younger to when they are older. And I also tested to see if their fears changed and stayed with them from the childhood or they became or they changed into adulthood and became more realistic. My name is Emily Denekamp. And my name is Grace Alanian, and our science fair project was testing the waters. Um, what we did was we took water from Taunton, Foxborough, and Norton, and we tested it to see how much bacteria is in the water. The results were that Norton had the most bacteria. We don't know what type of bacteria it is yet. We will soon, hopefully. The second most town with bacteria was Foxborough, and then Taunton. Hello, my name is Miles, and uh, my project was stressing teenagers. Um, I composed a survey of 24 questions. Um, I gave 10 of them to modern teenagers, so from about like 13 to 18, that haven't experienced high school uh, or haven't experienced college, and uh, 10 of them that were like young adults, so like from like 22 around to like 30. And from my data, I, uh, so from the survey, I composed graphs, and from the graphs, I got some pretty interesting results. Um, and actually it seemed like young adults were more stressed as teenagers that, uh, than modern teenagers actually are. Um, but some factors that could have come to play was that um, basically just depends on who I surveyed at the end of the day. Um, also, um, some of the young adults might have been confusing um, their college experience and how stressful that was, um, as well as uh, instead of like focusing on their actual teenage years. So um, yeah, that's basically what I did, and uh, goodbye. Hi, my name is Jake. Um, my si science fair project I did was how tee height affects the driving distance of a golf ball. Uh, in the testing, as you see the pictures here, I went to a golf simulator over at um, I think it was Ritter Farm Golf Course, and where I tested 60 plus golf balls, and I got the best 10 out of uh, these results here. And what I found was that the high tee height, which was the hypothesis, made the uh, golf ball not go as far. The medium tee height was the best for distance, and uh, yeah. Hi, my name is Savannah Howland. I'm a senior at Legacy Christian Academy, and I did my project on vocabulary pedagogy. So I wanted to see which methods would help students remember vocabulary the best. I tested them through pictures, gestures, translation, context, and a combination of all of those methods. I tested 17 subjects and had them memorize 40 words, and I found that subjects remembered the most words when they learned them in context. Hi, my name is Matthew Lehman. I did my project on gamers versus non-gamers with a reaction time and an aim test. I chose this topic because I'm very passionate about gaming and I love computers. Um, my question was, do gamers have a fax faster reaction time and aim test than non-gamers? My hypothesis was um, if they do have a faster reaction time. Um, my experiment was I took 10 gamers and 10 non-gamers. I sat them down and I um, basically gave them a survey of a series of questions about 
if they have any disorders or any like injuries that may affect them while they're taking the test. Um, our results were that gamers do and um, overall have a faster reaction time and a faster aim test than non-gamers. So my hypothesis was supported. Hi, my name is Zach. Um, basically, on my project, I am testing out where the best lengths to, for like the jump rope for kids, um, my height. So yeah, that's a little about my project and have a good day. Hi, my name is Sam. I did a project on batteries. Um, instead of doing an actual battery, I made it out of coins, pennies and nickels, and made electricity. Have a good day. Hi, my name is Elijah, and I did an experiment with eggs and water. So I made salt water, and I saw if the eggs would float in it, but it did. And then I used fresh water, but it sunk. So, yeah. Hi, my name's Sophia, and I did for Science Fair a robotic hand testing whether a human hand or a robotic hand is stronger, and the results were that a human hand is stronger than a robotic hand, and I built this robotic hand here to test it, and then I also have a motor that belongs in robotic hands, and so yeah.